Hello, my name's Julie McCrossan and I'm in the chambers with Michael Kirby and we're celebrating and marking the 30th anniversary of the, the Australian Dispute Centre and of course the contribution of Sir Lawrence Street. What is Sir Lawrence's contribution to this, this in very significant part of the law in Australia? Well, the amazing thing was that having reached the very highest levels uh, of the legal profession as a judge and a Chief Justice, uh, he took it on himself when he finished that part of his life to open a completely new chapter. And when all of those around him were saying nay, he began to promote the idea of uh, alternative dispute resolution, though he was never very happy with that expression. He said it's not really alternative, it's all there on its own. And he became a proponent, an advocate, uh, a disciple uh, for uh, ADR. And that was wonderful because he brought the cachet of his high judicial office, but also his charm uh, and his skills in becoming a really good uh, mediator. Uh, and that was a great lesson. When you say cachet, just how significant is it that such a senior legal figure, such an esteemed figure, backed this new approach to private resolution of disputes? Terribly important because actually it didn't have a lot of support in the organised legal profession. This was something completely new uh, and uh, it was something that was seen as slightly American and uh, therefore didn't fit in with the British sort of culture. And here was this Knight of the Realm, former Chief Justice, uh, extremely distinguished um, and, um, and prominent uh, lawyer advocating this new way. And he used to say, uh, well, uh, the big end of town complains that the clients are settling their matters uh, as if that was something shocking and terrible. But uh, he saw that this was something new. And you know, when we look back on it, it's a bit like the electronic uh, passport uh, reading at the airport. They couldn't cope today uh, without having that sort of new technology. Likewise, we could not cope today without having ADR. And Lawrence saw that before just about anybody else did. And he taught it, he promoted it, he advocated it in the face of a lot of opposition. Mm -hmm. And we really saw Jesse come out at that stage. He was really looking at things in a completely new light. <laughs> well, just finally, it's often said that the law is slow uh, to adapt to the new, to innovate. Uh, what lessons should we learn now from Sir Lawrence Street about um, keeping open throughout your life to change and improvement? Well, I think we've got to learn open-mindedness, but also to question what are the things we're not seeing today which people in decades to come will say, how could you have been so blind? Uh, and also not necessarily to follow what the big end of town or the orthodox professional opinion is because sometimes that is just hidebound. And you would have thought that Sir Lawrence Whistler Street would have been uh, very hidebound, but you see his mother was a bit of a revolutionary and uh, a wonderful person whom he greatly and dearly loved. And I think she came out of him um, in later years and uh, she was there holding his hand as he was leading us all into the new uh, pastures of alternative dispute <laughs> resolution. Well, on behalf of Michael Kirby and myself, we wish a happy 30th anniversary to the Dispute Centre and also earlier this year a happy 90th birthday for Sir Lawrence Street. Thank you.